is the 25th of July 2023. The invention of the free state, <coughs> an apartheid colonial university of Wyoming. And that now there are black students in this city. It does not mean the system has changed. It only means you have just been imploded. <laughs> Every black person born before 1980 has an English name or an African name <laughs> next to their indigenous name, isn't it? <laughs> Why? Because animals don't have names. <laughs> you must name animals yourself as the owner of the animals. We breathe for that everything. Knowledge is not innocent. Knowledge rather is political. So that if you have been taught by an agent of Africa, coloniality, and so on, you do know that here I am being given a knowledge of my mental enslavement. A colonizer can stand in front of you and give you knowledge teaching you to work as a slave, teaching you to become a slave, teaching you to work in toilets and being laid for forever. Coloniality is alive every day, today, not yesterday, today. The children of white people today employ your children and subjecting them to animal children. They believed that the planet Earth and the oceans were created for them. But when you watch the ashes, you see David Gordon, Steve Smith, the Australian squad is white, as if Australia is a nation of white people. It is wrong. Australia is a secular colony, just like South Africa. So they were on a mission in South Africa to make this whole country white, it must be a province of Europe. They were on a serious mission. Not only are they interested in saying the earth belongs to them, but the sky and the galaxy. How many planets they tell you we have? Nine planets. Which of those nine planets has an African name? No other people are subjected to cruelty like the South Africa. South African white people are chilling on the head of You are suffering in the ground. <laughs> are we together? You are not the same. Shame, your white classmates also found themselves in the pyramid. They arrived on the head of the Oh, shit. <laughs> They still don't want to see this person anywhere near. That is why you always feel like you don't belong. Animals who clean the floor. And billionaires who own shelters, the whole land. So they have to look for specific weapons and tools to use in order for you as a black person to actually understand that maybe really the world is lost to them. Then in the middle, Shem, <laughs> they play the, what you call subhumans. Subhumans are those people that they call red, green, yellow people. Yeah? Most of them, you will find them from the Indian Pacific Islands region, the Chinese, the Indians. They call them what? Subhumans in the middle. But when you move across South Africa and across the West, which people are doing the job of sweeping the streets, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the storage, and cleaning the swimming pool? What in South Africa, across the world, which people are doing that? Most people. It's mm -hmm. black people. Now you are black students, you are in my group. But the dinosaur of the system has not changed. Mm. But, but you can feel that when you are inside, yeah. you are feeling the ghost. <laughs> so that if you are being told by the education system, at least you know. And I, this one, <laughs> is going to teach me this year, it's fine. Who is this person? Where does he come from? So that you don't find yourself 
being taught by a real apologist. Donkeys work 24 7 in a farm without anyone. So, donkeys are not human beings. Who are those donkeys? It's black people. 25 July 2023, the pyramid is still alive. They divided black people into different languages. Why? Because the colonizer knew. Once black people realize that they are one people and they end up forming a nation, they will destroy white supremacy. The fundamental problem of what you see is the continuing legacy of coloniality. The legacy of land dispossession, the legacy of land invasions, the legacy of apartheid, the legacy of neo-apartheid, the legacy of neoliberalism, the legacy of neocolonialism, the, the legacy of modernity still traps and keeps Africa at the bottom. Your state of misfortune as Africans, it's not a matter of Christ hating or loving you shall. It's a product that is determined by colonial empire. Preschool, primary school, high school, even university, they've been training your brain to see black people as animals and to see white people as people who are closer to being God. Five white maids, five billionaires, five stupid billionaires. They go to a small boat, they went out of the ocean, they died. Do you all know about that story? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because human beings were the ones who were dying that time. <laughs> Five white bodies, they died far away from South Africa. Far hmm. away! Hey, <laughs> in the Pacific Ocean, the knowledge they give you in schools, in universities, continues to teach you to treat black people as animals and to treat white people as Jesus Christ. That is why the knowledge of black people is not taken seriously. Who could have made an independent, flourishing life if coloniality was not running the world. Are we together? Coloniality gives no options to a black person. If you don't own the means of production, ah, education, ah, nurses, ah, CV, ah, unemployment, ah, 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 So, Development is structured uh, in that way. It produces these demons that are still alive and that you see today. The fame 